Junk food may rewire the way your brain manages your appetite and calories. A new study published in the Journal of Physiology suggests fatty foods can restrict your ability to regulate your calorie intake and your appetite. Researchers say after 10 to 14 days of a high-fat diet, cells connected to the gut can fail to act, which can then cause a delay in how the stomach empties. Of course, there are many components to staying healthy. It's not just about food. Many are struggling to find the time to take care of themselves. There's a new book out, which is right here, uh, which is called The Minimum Method, The Least You Can Do to Be a Stronger, Healthier, Happier You. The author <laughs> is right here, Joey Thurman. He seems very healthy, happy, and strong. Uh, thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, so I love this premise, The Minimum Method. What exactly does that mean and what's the least amount that we can do? I mean, the least doesn't necessarily mean it's always going to be easy for you. Sometimes we need, need to do the hard things in life to make life easier. But adding good behaviors and regulating sleep and adding some good foods and just some positive behaviors can really negate some of these bad behaviors without you even thinking about it. So if you're struggling to get off the couch the starting line, that's who I wrote it for. Yeah, and, and let's start by talking about carbs mm -hmm. right because a lot of people we say we all love carbs we love yeah. carbs. You're, you're swearing as, right now you said as, the word want as much carbs as yeah. we can everybody says i'm going to cut carbs and that's the way i'm going to lose weight you say no there's a lot of good carbs too yeah i mean fruits and vegetables they're good yes yeah yes. I mean, right right yes. those are mainly carbohydrates they're they're fiber they're prebiotics they help your gut and to your point about about the study in the beginning if you're having enough fiber that helps feed the probiotics that you're probably taking so that's going to help your brain help your immune system and even in the book i talk about the weekday diet how you can have more carbs on the weekend and when people cut carbs they actually just lose weight because they're losing water weight in the beginning and in the end it's about cutting more calories, maintaining your protein level. So whether you're having more carbs or more fat, that's fine, but less calories, more protein, and the, within that diet in there, the weekday diet, you can lose about a pound of fat per week. And the protein is really what makes you feel full, right? If you're yes. really trying to like look strong, it's all about the protein. Yeah, I mean, I see your muscles popping out of oh the jacket God, right there. Yeah. Yeah, my I mean, God, he can hardly contain himself <laughs> yeah. on this set. Yeah. So the, the protein, yes, that's going to satiate you. It's got a higher thermic effect of food. So basically by eating the protein, you're going to burn more calories just from pure digestion of the protein. So in that diet there, just have the protein, you know, bump it up a little bit, get some more movement in, and then your carbs, you, you can have more on the weekend, just have less calories during the week. Okay, females, listen up, because you did some research mm -hmm. about menstruation and exercise. What did you find out? Yeah, so we men, we have 24 hour cycles. Females have about 28 day cycles. And often when you're on your heavy menstrual part of your cycle, you're bleeding a lot. You're losing a lot of nutrients. So I even did this with a client of mine, Rachel Brooksmith, a movie star, and she was really just exhausted. So I mm -hmm. said, instead of working out today, how about you focus on working in? Mm. So you, you can't you know, crush it and add all, all the muscle in a day or two. So think about you know, yoga, meditation, focusing on yourself inward. Don't have the gallons of ice cream. We want to stay away from that, but there's different phases of your cycle where you're going to feel so much better, where you maybe should weight train more. Maybe you should be around more people. You should do those HIIT training classes where you're going to feel better, your ovulation phase or your luteal phase. So there's four different parts of your cycle. So yes, I... I, I do train uh, females around that, and some people yeah, they can it work makes out. A difference. Yeah, they can't work out when they you're on your heavy part. Uh, but then also, uh, the cardio activity can help with cramps. At least I will speak from mm -hmm. personal experience, and it can make you feel better. Yeah, context is king there. So, like, if you can't yeah. get out of bed and, and you're cramping, you're doing sure. that. Maybe you want to start walking around or doing some yoga. But yes, for you, it's it's going to be fine. But for lot, lots of women who have, especially you know, heavy cycles, they may want to stay away from doing heavy strength training or um, intense. Exercise exercise for the you know one to three days that that might last okay well Alex needs more sleep yeah what are some and, tips yeah, for I'm listening up now the menstruation thing not, <laughs> as much. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. not as much there it sleep's but... my topic yeah <laughs> go ahead <laughs> sleep what are your tips to get a better night's sleep yeah I mean everybody wants to say oh I need seven to nine hours of sleep but consistent sleep even if you get less, lots of TV anchors and producers don't get that. So consistent sleep, going to bed at the same time every night and waking up at the same time. Yes, there's seven days a week, not just on the weekends. Because what happens on the weekend, people try to make up for it, and then Sunday night you don't get enough sleep, and then it's a continuous cycle. So consistent sleep, even research shows that your brain can operate better, your, your hormone system can operate better just from having consistent sleep, even if it's not that seven, eight, or nine hours. But what about people that say, I want to go out on the weekends. That's my time to party. That's my time to go out. Well, you know, try to be aware of that. 
I talk about that in the book, like maybe delay it by an hour or so. You can try to do that, but you know, it, in the end, if you sleep less, less consistently, yeah, people say, I'm gonna sleep when I, you know, I'm dead, but you know what, you're gonna die faster and be dumber if you sleep less right now while you're alive. Uh, very nice. What's your cheap food? My cheap food, I, I love tacos and sweets. I don't know, tacos not necessarily cheap food, but yeah, I'm a sweet say, guy. Like, I, I have a bite of ice cream, I have the whole thing, so I'm aware, like, you know, if I'm gonna do it, I'm just gonna go to town, <laughs> I I'm just, it's, it happens. Yeah, all it's in like or him. all out. Yeah. I can't, I can't do in. the middle. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, all right. Congratulations, again, the book is right here. The Minimum Method, it is available right now. I bought a copy and I encourage you to do it as well. And you can find Joey on social media, Joey Thurman Fit. Joey, thanks so much. Thank you. We'll be right back.